Manu and Bose were friends. Manu and Bose were equal in their performance, may it be studies or sports. Bose, it's time for school. Are you coming or not? Two minutes. I will come. Just wearing my shoes. Manu was punctual and regular in all his work, but Bose was a bit lazy guy and used to keep things postponing. Bose, you saw the notice board. There is a competition to be held by next week. You know the topic? I haven't seen the notice board. Tell me what the topic is. It's about cricket. And you know what the prize is for the winner? A cricket gear. What? A cricket gear? Oh, I will take part in this competition. Me too. We have to write a two-page essay on the game cricket and submit it by Monday, the next week. Oh, Monday. We have still five days for that. A lot of time. But we need to collect the articles. Let's go to the library tomorrow. The next day? Bose, come. Let's go to the library. No, I am going to play. Saturday is holiday. I will go to library on that day. You carry on. Manu wrote the article on cricket and submitted it on the Friday itself, while Bose planned to submit it on Monday. On Monday? Bose, come on, it's getting late for school. Manu, you carry on. I'll be a little late to school. So Manu left to school. Bose reached the school late by half an hour. He rushed to his teacher to submit his article. Keep it on my table and go to your class. In the evening? Bose, come here. I cannot accept your article because you were late in the submission. But to be honest, your article was wonderful, better than Manu's. Manu, you have won the first prize. Bose, if you would have submitted it earlier, then definitely you would have won the prize. Sorry, teacher. At least now you can correct yourself. Be punctual and do things regularly. Ah, do not worry, Bose. At least from now, do not keep things for later. I will share my prize with you. Come, let's go now. From that day, Bose was very punctual. This made his parents and teachers happy.